Okay, everybody, let's get started here. We had one more panelist and maybe she'll be able to jump on here. But right now, I don't want to keep you waiting too long. Um, again, thank you so much for taking your time today to join us here. Um, I'm sure most of you are aware that we have, there's recently been some changes to forms licensing in Arizona. Some of you may like the changes and others of you maybe not so much. And I'm sure you're um, exploring some other options on ways for you to be able to manage your day-to-day -day transactions. And we here at Brokerment realize that you have options when it comes to managing and running your brokerage. So we always want to be here as a resource for you when changes like this happen. So really the topic for today is going to be our recent partnership with the Arizona Board of Realtors. And we're going to walk you through what that integration with state forms looks like. And we'll um, touch on our e-signature platform and how that works. Um, we do welcome questions and we encourage questions. I ask that you please post any questions that you have. Try to keep them specific to the topic of the webinar. You can post them in chat and myself and the other panelists um, will address them as we're going through the presentation um, and we'll do more focus at the end. Um, the webinar is being recorded, so if we do run out of time for questions, we'll be sure to reach out to each of you individually and you'll receive a copy of the recording as well. Um, one thing I do like to point out, I highly recommend that you check our knowledge base of video guides. Um, that's support.brokerment.com. It'll give you a great idea of the full capabilities of Brokerment. I want to cover the agenda that we have today. So what we're going to cover here is we're going to learn how to ensure maximum compliance with Arizona state forms for use within Brokerment. We have doing something a little bit different today as well. We have panelists here to talk about best practices and tips. They are clients of ours here. Um, they're able to help you understand how they leverage our solution to scale and grow their business. We're going to hear from Lydia with Jet Closing. She is a title company local to Arizona. She's going to be discussing a new integration that we have with them. Um, again, we'll address all questions towards the end of the presentation. And those of you that are interested in checking out Brokerment further, stay tuned till the end. We're going to be offering a discount code um, at the end of the presentation. So um, I want to take some time now to help you guys um, meet the panelists and understand who our guest speakers are here. So we have Leslie with Bloom Tree Realty, as well as Lydia with Jet Closing. And now if it's okay with you guys, I want to have them tell a little bit more about themselves, about their brokerage and their relationship with Brokerment. So Leslie, please go ahead and introduce yourself. There, Leslie. Maybe Lydia, are you there? I don't know what happened. Well, I see Leslie in the chat said I'm here. <laughs> um, so, but hi everyone. Uh, my name is Lydia Eager. I'll go. I'll go now, and maybe Leslie will figure out her microphone because I know she's on a call. Um, she said, do you have me on mute? Anyway, uh, I'm a relationship manager with Jet Closing. Looking at some of the names on this list of who's attending right now, I think I've actually met a few of you. Uh, Jet Closing is a tech startup uh, title and escrow company. We were created by a realtor himself to make a much smoother closing process for realtors and buyers and sellers. Uh, we've changed a little bit of the business model to make everything more cost effective. So we work off of flat fees. Um, we also, everything we do is monthly as our society is changing and looking for people to um, come to them for anything. I always make the joke, I order my groceries from my couch over the weekend. Uh, I'm looking for someone when I'm doing the closing process to come to me and make it as convenient as possible. Now with that being said, our technology, our, head, our chief tech officer, David Wolf, was one of the head developers at Amazon. And he brought over his team that uh, they actually were the guys who built the Amazon shopping app. Uh, so, so our technology is really quite incredible. And then that's where Brokerment, our integration with Brokerment is amazing uh, and next level for realtors and brokerages. Uh, we just rolled it out with True Realty. That's why it's gonna be awesome to have Lori on here. We're, we're in pilot mode with a couple of their agents where um, their backend processes are able to, their documents will speak to us. So you can just pick them on the Brokerment drop down. I don't know if any of you guys use Brokerment, but there's a checklist you can use for the closing process and you can choose jet closing right there so that the contract will immediately speak to us and send over to our team and we'll start processing it. And then throughout the entire transaction, our 
uh, systems are linked so that whenever we have documents uploaded to our systems, they immediately send to the brokerment system and vice versa. Uh, this is going to be a huge game changer for realtors so that you don't have to, if you use other type of uh, backend systems where you have to maybe save a file to your desktop and then re-upload it somewhere else. And it's just like three or four extra clicks that as much as that sounds like it's not a big deal can be quite the headache. Uh, we've eliminated that for realtors uh, and their transaction coordinators. So it's really exciting what we've got going and thank you so much for having me on this, this call. Awesome, thanks Lydia. Lori, I see you were able to hop on. Do you mind telling us a little bit about yourself and your brokerage and your relationship with us here at Brokerment? I'm not sure why we're having trouble with some of the panelists here, you guys um, being able to speak, and I apologize for that. I guess we'll just kind of continue to move forward. Um, a little bit about the brokerment system. I kind of want to give you a high level just so you kind of know how we're able to support. Um, basically, we have been around since 2014, and we rolled out our transaction management piece here that allows you to have a calendar, um, automate checklist, as well as an e-signature platform. Um, and we are always constantly growing our platform, reaching out to our um, clients, as well as doing market research to try to bring new things to the table. So we've brought on commission tracking and reporting in 2016, um, as well as agent onboarding in 2018, and that's part of our um, enterprise solution. But we're able to connect with MLS, with CRM, and integrate with QuickBooks. And again, we're always building new relationships with different technology companies in order to make a seamless process for all realtors and brokerages. Um, specifically, now we have a new feature that we just rolled out where you can do um, company, paid by company, pre-split and post-split deductions. So um, definitely a great new feature that we have available. Um, but what we're here to talk about is our Arizona forms that are now available within Brokerment. And we've had those forms live for about two months now. So what that really means is that the forms are automatically uploaded by Brokerment for direct access within our platform. So they're ready to use right away. And also because they're accessible and fillable directly from within Brokerment, depending on what process is, you may or may not need to uh, use your third party software to access these forms. And one more thing that I wanna mention is that as the new updates are rolled out for Arizona forms, that's on Brokerment to automatically go ahead and upload all those changes. So again, it's one more thing that you guys don't need to worry about um, and we're able to take that off your plate. So currently we have about 20 clients using our forms in Arizona and we're getting more and more traction every day. So from there now, I would like to just jump in and show you the demo of how that works within our system. So what I've gone here, I'm not gonna walk you through everything within the system, but we're a transaction-based system. So what I did here is created an address or a property. And with that, I attached a checklist so I can demo here to show you how we're able to use the forms. So typically for those that are clients, if we have any of them on the phone, you're able to build out your own checklists to have them within Brokerment and attach them to each different transaction that you're working on. And the process of building out your checklist, you're able to actually go in attach forms. So you can attach any Arizona forms specifically to the checklist. And that's what you're gonna notice here by this feature that says use forms. That means I've built out my checklist and added forms for the agents to use. So you can see here by selecting use forms, this lead-based paint disclosure is automatically already attached for the agents. And from there, you just simply select next. Um, and this is where you're able to auto-populate the people that are gonna need to be on the file here. Um, keep in mind that any user and contact that you put into the system is gonna be able to push that information to have them auto-populate on the forms. Um, and you can see you're able to represent the seller or the buyer. Um, on this form, we're going to walk through and represent as the seller. And I'm going to list myself here as the agent. And you can see you can assign an order if you prefer to have one person sign before the other. You can simply click that button and just move the fields. And that way the first person would need to sign and then it would go to the next and so on and so forth. If not, then you can just send it out to everybody at once. So from there, you just select next. 
and then here's that form pulled in for you. You can see it auto populate the address. Um, you can see it's very user friendly here. Every user that needs to sign is color coded. Um, and then from there, you can simply send it out using our e-signature platform just by choosing select. And you can change these features here. If you need to assign it to somebody else, you're able to do that. You can add different text fields, um, check boxes, signatures, initials, as well as dates. So you select send, and then you're gonna get a template for an email message. You can put in whatever information you'd like there. And this is just a little behind the scenes um, mapping, but basically it's gonna go out individually to each person on the list that needs to sign it. So you hit send and then you're gonna get an email notification and I will show you what that looks like so you can be aware of the notifications that the system provides you. Just let me refresh my email here. There we go. Okay, so your signature would look like this. Basically, the agent or the person that needs to sign would be able to have instant access by going to review and sign. And from there, they do not have to you know, download or anything. They can easily pull up the system here, upload the document, and get started from there and sign and date whatever they need to. And the awesome part is it tells you how many fields need to be signed by that person and you can just toggle through and um, put in all the information that you need. If you hit next, it'll bring you to this field. And again, you can type, draw um, your signature and insert from there. And so now it'll let you continue since you filled in all the appropriate spots. And from there, you can go back to your system and then you'll be able to see that the document was sent out over here with the e-signature section. You can see that I signed it and it's been sent to these other two people for them to sign. Um, another feature that you're able to do here is on this addendum section, the way you're able to access the Arizona forms is this use forms box right here. So I click on use forms and this is where you'd have access to the Arizona forms here and from there if you need to search for an addendum you can simply type it in and then all these forms with the addendum word will come up here so we're going to just use this one so you select the form or forms that you need to use directly from the Arizona forms here and then by doing that, you just walk through the same process that we did here above, and you were able to send the documents completely through Brokerman. So that is brief, quick review of how our system is able to work for you in regards to those forms and how we're connected. Um, I wanted to take some time now to have our panelists get on here and talk a little bit more about their experience with Brokerman um, and how they're able to scale and leverage um, us as a solution. Are we able to get some audio here? Leslie, are you there? Or Lori? Uh, I'm here. Can you hear me? I can, yes. Go okay, ahead. Okay, great. I'm Thanks. not sure why I was muted, but <laughs> hi, everybody. Sorry I was late. Um, just want to say how pleased we are with Brokerment. We've been using it for about two years. Uh, one of the wonderful things about Brokerment is the agility that it has. Um, it definitely changes as we change, or um, they will adapt to changes um, at our request if, if they're going to work for everybody, obviously. Um, we just started using the new forms. Uh, part of Brokerment, and it has added uh, just a whole nother dimension, a whole nother step to make things easier for the life of my agents and myself. So we're really enjoying it. Great. Thanks so much, Lori. Um, Leslie, I don't know if you have audio yet. If not, uh, we'll just keep moving through here. Um, we had a chance to talk to Lori. Um, um, Lydia a little bit earlier here, but speaking on our relationship here with Brokerman and Jet Closing, you're able to build out your title and escrow checklist from within our platform and then directly be able to communicate with um, Jet Closing. So I know Lydia spoke a little bit um, about the program before, but now I really want you to kind of um, speak to why you're able to um, 
help brokerages save money and automate some of the responsibilities. I have another slide here if you have some time, Lydia, if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so I, if you go back to that first slide, I think it's really amazing to show everyone. Jet Closings identified the 23 steps of title and escrow that happen every single time. Uh, that's why what we do is so efficient. There's never been a title company out there that's laid it out for realtors and their clients. Like, hey, these are the steps that are going to be completed every time you do a transaction. You know exactly what to expect and where, where we've been and where we're going. And that's how it integrates really well with Brokerment as well. Because whether you log in there or log into our system, they're going to stay all the same documents. You're not having to double, triple check any of that. Our systems speak to each other and do that automatically. Um, so if you go to the next slide then, I did I did mention a little bit, I won't talk too, too long, but uh, just our technology is what's really setting us apart from any other title company in the industry. This is all proprietary technology that's uh, making your life so much easier on the closing process. Uh, and along with that, our, our um, I think Lori talked about the agility of brokerment and that's why we, we get along so well uh, is because of the agility of jet closing as well is what we're able to how we're able to offer clients a flat $500 escrow. We are not the discount title company. Uh, as you can see us as putting together, you know, this with brokerment we're we're actually easier and better to work with while saving your clients money. Uh, again, not because we're the discount option, but because title and escrow companies have always charged uh, a sliding scale escrow just because it's the way it's always been done. Uh, so we're looking to take, take you know, our, our efficiency and pass those savings on to you and your clients. Um, along with that, we do pay uh, with, via e-check. Uh, we can pay within 60 minutes of recording. Um, and I think that that integrates in with Brokermint as well. However, I'm not really able to speak intelligibly about it. Um, but again, it's, it's uh, along with everything we do, being concierge service, the flat fees, paying you quickly, and you being communicated to the entire time, this integration that we've, we've got with Brokerment is really amazing for uh, whether you're looking at our systems or their systems, you're going to be on the same page and everything's going to be talking to each other very fluidly. Uh, and you're going to know exactly what's going on in the title and escrow process, which is pretty awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Lydia. Um, that pretty much wraps up our session here today. I haven't seen many questions come in. If you guys do have questions, please, as a reminder, just feel free to post them in the chat here and we can address them uh, before we wrap up this call. Um, we'll just kind of stay on the line for a few minutes here. Um, as I mentioned, there is a discount code. So let me show you that here now. Um, we are offering 50% off the first three months here um, as you become a client with us. You can use code AZ50. Um, my phone number direct if you have any questions um, or would like to talk specifically about your needs is 619-433-6800. And I didn't even mention, but I'm Jennifer. I'm an account executive here with Brokermint. Um, we don't have any questions coming in, so I'm going to hold the line for a few more minutes. Um, if not, I really appreciate everyone taking the time here to join us. Um, Jeffrey, I will reach out to you specifically because we need to understand, the question was, what are your monthly fees? So we do have three different pricing options, but I really need to understand more specifically about what your needs are. Um, so I will give you a ring at another time to talk about that. Okay, well, nobody has any questions. Again, I'm going to end this meeting now. I really appreciate you guys taking the time to understand more about our system. And again, I encourage you to reach out to me if you'd like some more information. Somebody want to say something? I heard someone come on the line. Just wanted to say thank you, Jennifer. Yeah. It's Lori. Oh, yeah. Oh, thank you guys so much for being on there and being panelist guests. Um, everybody have a great day. Okay, thanks. Bye. Bye.